Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Aish and in today's video we are going to be testing out another TikTok made me buy it. I'm coming to you in this video completely barefaced as today we're going to be testing out the Dr. Jart color correcting treatment. This is something that I've been seeing all over my TikTok. I know that you guys, if you are in the beauty kind of skincare bit of TikTok, you will have definitely seen this quite a few times. This is supposed to be a treatment that helps improve redness on the skin, evens everything out as well as giving you a healthy glow. As you can see, from the clips that I'm going to put on the screen. My skin is not in the best way at the minute. Like I don't have really any active spots but there is a lot of spot scarring but I've got a lot of redness around my nose as well as my mouth at the minute. I also have a really cute and juicy pimple above my eyebrow so I'm really keen to see whether or not this actually evens out the skin tone around that because he is a little bit angry looking. Oh now that I actually looked in the viewfinder my eyes look a bit red as well. Ugh, my skin is just not in the best way. So just a little bit about this product before we jump straight into testing it out. So this is supposed to be a tiger grass color correcting treatment this has got spf 30 in it it says that you use this after your toner and your serums you can either pop this on your skin before you apply your makeup or just use it as a base itself a lot of people online have said that you will absolutely hate this product unless you warm it up in your fingers before you apply it to your skin i purchased this product myself from a company called cult beauty this is actually quite a big like online makeup distributor i buy a lot of products from there this retailed for 12 pound 50 on the cult beauty website obviously if you're buying it from other places or if you're buying it in other countries the prices will vary so this is what the product is looking like undisturbed inside the tub i think there's yep 15 milliliters of product in there there's quite a fair old amount in this little tub so i'm just going to go in now and take this much i'd say that's kind of like i think that's a decent amount online a lot of people said be quite generous with this product so i'm just going to pop it onto my fingertips and just start to mix it together and warm up the product already i can see that there is like a major color difference it was so green in the tub but just warming it up on my fingers um okay so let's just pat it onto my skin i mean actually when you think about it, my neck is a lot fairer than... No, I don't know why I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I'm a, I am a little bit worried. So just patting it into my skin as they advise. I can't really see very well as I don't have my contact lenses in. I'm hoping it's not as bad as I think it looks right now. I'm patting it into my skin rather than rubbing it, she says as she's literally rubbing it into my neck. Um, just because I find that when I start to like rub things aggressively into my skin naturally my skin gets really upset with me and starts to go very red but yeah I'm just patting this into my skin now and it's slowly starting to kind of like melt into my skin and from what I can see with my very below average eyes um, I think it's actually blending into my skin quite well I'm just gonna pat the excess that's left on my fingers into the tops of my eyelids because that's one part of my face that gets very like red and veiny sometimes all that product's completely gone off my fingers. It feels really nice, smooth and hydrated. I'm just going to grab my oversized and overly heavy mirror just to have a look. Oh, okay. Around my mouth, you can definitely see the difference from where I've rubbed it in here and where I've not. Blend. So far, I'm quite impressed with how that kind of like changed the way my skin looks. I'm actually very, very impressed. However, I am just going to use the tiniest little bit more to just even out my chin so just the smallest teeniest amount on my fingertip just gonna rub that between my fingers gently da, 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 da. okay and pat just going around my mouth again because i have a lot of discoloration on my chin also just gonna go back around my eyes again I'm gonna pat on that spot because I'm not gonna lie, he is actually very well covered. Well, not covered because it's not foundation, but you know what I mean. I'm just looking at my face now that the product's had a chance to really sit and soak into my skin. And it's got a really hydrated and dewy kind of finish to it, which is very nice. Like I said, I'm a very oily skinned gal, so that can change very quickly. I can go from being nice and dewy and cute and hydrated looking to very oily, 
you could definitely fry some chips off of the oils on my face. It has definitely evened out my skin tone. The only problem is for me, I would say that I look very flat and like a little bit ghostly. If I was just going to use this product as a base, I think I would definitely have to set it with something, whether that be just like a spritz of setting spray with a beauty blender, just tap it in just to really lock in all of that product and just kind of seal the deal or use a light amount of powder all over my face just to really lock that in. Maybe also a setting spray on top of that. I'd probably pop on some like cream contour or something, maybe just use like some bronzing powder just to give my face a bit more dimension because I'm... I mean, my skin looks nice, don't get me wrong. It's lovely and even, which is always something that I've wished for when it comes to my skin, but this is a little bit too, like, flat, if you get what I'm saying. One thing I would like to say is that I am quite impressed about how it managed to conceal the redness around that spot that I have on my forehead. It definitely did a really good job in making it go from absolutely vile to just a little bit disgusting. So to summarise my thoughts on the Dr. Jart colour correcting treatment, I did actually really like this product, like straight off the bat as first impressions go, it was quite a good one. It evened out my skin tone really nicely, as you can see I'm very flat like the moon right now. Definitely recommend if you have the same issue, maybe just popping some like bronzer over the top. Some people could probably get away with just applying this to their skin and like going out and rocking their day and I love that for you but for me personally I don't think I'd be able to do that. I can understand as well how this could potentially go so horrific if you don't warm it up between your fingers. Just the way that the product works, I don't know what it is inside the product this is me pretending to like rub it between my fingers i could see it going like either one way or the other if i'm going to be honest when i first tapped it onto my skin i think i realized that i didn't warm up the product enough before i did that just because of the way that it looked when it came onto my skin luckily it was sort of like almost there so i just carried on patting and it just then blended into my skin but i could see how that could potentially go completely the other way if you don't do it enough quite a lot of product in it this small tube there is a slightly bigger version of this which is obviously more expensive because there's more product i also like as well how this has an spf of 30 in it because it means that it's protecting your skin you should always use spf regardless of if you are or are not wearing makeup just because you've got foundation on the skin it doesn't mean there's an automatic barrier between your skin with the foundation and then the sun it can still penetrate through that foundation and damage your skin you should always 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 wear SPF. The sun is a powerful being, okay? So yeah, that was my thoughts on the Dr. Jart color correcting treatment. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know. It really does help me out a lot. If there are any products that you've seen on TikTok that you would like me to try, then let me know in the comments down below because I would love to test them out. I'll leave links to this product in the description down below in case you are interested in trying it out for yourself along with my social media. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok, all of that good stuff. Links will be in the description as well as on the screen and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more videos like this and if you are already subscribed just double check that you still are because there is a little bit of a problem with the algorithm at the minute thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week stay safe stay indoors as much as possible and i will see you next time for another video bye guys